Hello students, this is 1.37. A point moves along a circle with a velocity v equal to 80. Where is 0.5 meter per second square? Find the total acceleration of the point at the moment when it covered the nth, n is 0.1, fraction of the circle after the beginning of motion. It means the problem is a particle is moving in a circle and since its velocity is given as v equal to 80, since its velocity depends on time, so it is an example of non-uniform circular motion. It means at every moment it is an example of non-uniform circular motion. Then total acceleration of the point at the moment when it covered the nth 0.1 fraction of the circle. So when it covered 0.1 fraction of the circle, then it will cover 0.1 fraction nth fraction. It is 2 pi r into n pi. Complete circumference, let r is the radius of that circle, then complete circumference will be 2 pi r. And we have to cover only, we have to cover nth part of the circle. So this part will be 2 pi r into n. Yeah, if we talk about angle, point 1 is 36 degree. Because total is 360, so it is 36 degree. But in terms of n, we can write it as 2 pi r nth part. This part is 2 pi r. So it starts from this point where at t bar upper 0, v will be 0, so at a start its velocity is 0 and after travelling this much distance, it will gain a velocity, v is 80 and first we have to calculate what is the time taken to travel this much distance so for getting this, uh, it is simple to use the equation s equal to ut plus half at square s equal to ut plus half at square, this equation, we can use this equation because v is equal to 80 implies that acceleration of the particle is constant. If we differentiate this, then dv by dt will become a. It means acceleration is equal to a and which is constant. So Galileo's equations can be used. So s equal to ut plus half at square. Now s, s is 2 pi r into n. u is 0 initial as given in the figure plus half. Acceleration is a into t square. This A obtained by differentiating this equation is tangential acceleration. So this is acceleration tangential. This is tangential acceleration, it means acceleration along tangent. A T. This is A T acceleration along tangent. So 2 pi r into n is half a t square. So uh, t will be 4 pi r into n upon a and this much time. When the particle takes this much time to travel this much distance. So this is the time. So after this time we have to calculate the total acceleration. We know that the tangential acceleration is fixed, it is a. So tangential acceleration it is a. And for finding centripetal acceleration, we know that the formula of centripetal acceleration in this much time, this is tangential acceleration at every point it is a. So a tangential is a. This will also be at this position. This is only numerical magnitude, direction will be different. And centripetal acceleration along center, the second acceleration that is centripetal acceleration, and this acceleration can be obtained by the formula v square by radius. And velocity at this position is a t, so it is a square t square by r. Or kitna time lagega yahan se yahan pe pochne mein time hum calculate kar chuke hain. So put the value of time, it will become a square. A square of this, it is 4 pi r n over a upon r. So cancel one a and r term you will get 4 pi n into a. This is centripetal acceleration numerical magnitude. So centripetal acceleration is 4 pi n a and tangential acceleration is a. So overall acceleration of the particle a total is under root of tangential square plus centripetal square. Now put the value of uh, n as 0.1 and that of a as 0.5 and get the answer. So this is the way to solve this problem. Thank you.